Welcome to the Zarvio Digital Farming Solution Field Manager Help Videos. In this video, we're going to show you how to assign a crop to some already created fields. As you notice here, on the status side, we have all the different fields that we've brought in to the Field Manager system. There's two ways we could go about assigning a crop. The first, if we have no crops assigned, we'll have a big button here at the top that says Assign Crop. Or, if you click on an individual field, down at the bottom, you'll see another button to assign a crop as well. For this demo, however, I'm going to select Assign Crop. When you do this, automatically the first field alphabetically is assigned at the top. For those that are going to be the same crop type, you can actually go in and add more fields. Select the other fields that will be assigned to the same crop type. Select Save. If you brought in a field that does not belong to the crop type you're selecting, on the far right side, there's a red trash can. Click that to delete the field that you brought in. Underneath Crop, if you select that, we have the three different varieties that we could choose from. For this example, I'm going to choose Oilseed Rape. As you can see, all the other fields have been assigned with the same crop type. Now, we select the variety. Under the variety, as you can see, we have a real in-depth master data list of all the different varieties out there in the marketplace. You can either scroll through the list to find what you're looking for, or simply start typing in the variety. You could also assign different varieties for these crops. From here, we'll just look to get some extra information. We're interested to know what the previous crop was for this particular field. as well as what your current tillage system is. When everything is filled out, go ahead and select Next. We then come to the seeding date. The seeding date, aside from borders, is the most important part of Zarvio Field Manager, just because this drives our standard growth staging model. Go through and select what the seeding date was for your field. You can also assign different dates for different fields. If you happen to put this in beforehand and then seed later, you can always go back in and edit after the fact. Also, we're interested to know of what your yield expectation is for each of these fields. At the end of the season, you can even come in and check off when these fields have been harvested. When you have the information ready to go, Hit save. And just like that, you'll now see here in the status bar that we have our crop and varieties listed below. 